are back right here on Breakfast Television. He's a man that needs uh, no introduction to Montrealers. Andy Nellman joins us on the show, and your latest venture is something called Play the Future. The, you're the co-creator of this iPhone app slash game slash addiction. Uh, <laughs> I like that, yes, I'll take that. <laughs> Tell us about Play the Future. Well, Play the Future, it depends who you are, it's one of two things. If you're a consumer, Play the Future is an addictive um, prediction game where you talk about what's going to happen tomorrow and this is something that's inherent in all humans people love to talk about what's going to happen tomorrow be it in fortune cookies horoscopes um it's the water cooler, building. right? The Basically, water, we talk about what's happening, what's going to be... And and people have this inherent need to know what's going to happen tomorrow. So it plays off that. So that's if you're a consumer. But if you're a brand, if you're uh, a company, if you're in the marketing business, what this is, is an, uh, it's a very powerful engagement tool that lets brands speak to consumers in a very, very authentic way and uh, allows the brands to become a game. I was actually amazed because I looked at the reviews in the App Store when I was downloading the game. It's, you have really high reviews. People are actually getting into this game. You brought your iPhone as well, yes, so we yes. can see uh, what uh, what is involved uh, in this game. And so, like you said, you're making predi predictions based on real life events. Right? Anything. I mean, what what we do is we say we that turn the sinkhole in Ottawa. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we turn the mundane into the exotic and the exciting. Uh, well, I'm just going to flip through this because what we do, we're almost like a newsroom, like you guys. Yeah. We look at what's happening today, what's happening, you know, tomorrow, and how are people going to predict it. The so I did. So I did the shots this morning. I did the predictions this okay. morning. I, I picked 48 shots for the Sharks. For, okay. gonna go, they're going to go into overtime. There's going to be a lot of shots in this one. But the way it works is, I mean, I, we, we could look at, this, at the sports one, but uh, you know, what you do is it gives you context of why you're playing, what it means, like what, 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 why all these shots tonight. Then there are hints. You can open up other hints that give you, there are keys in the game that give you Pers you know, perspective. So the shots on goal for the Sharks were 24 game four. Their, their average is 24.5. Then you make a prediction. You said how many? I said 48. You're psychotic. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to be a little bit more... <laughs> a little more conservative Yes. There? But th So I just made a prediction of 30. But I can go ahead and, and challenge friends, which is really the fun of this. You bring your yeah. friends into this. I'm going to challenge somebody you know, Parissa Foster, my partner. Parissa, yeah. She's the co-creator along with you, right? Correct. And she's sitting at home right now and she's got a ding that says somebody challenged you to a game. But there's everything. There's commerce via rail. See, this is one of your neighbors yeah. and one of our sponsors. So what happens is as you play the game, the brands are integrated into it. And this is why maybe it comes, becomes addictive, right? Because if you do well, you can win gift cards and other things, right? From right. And what happens is, you know, just uh, on the, 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 the phone itself, yeah. the results come in. Um, I don't know if you're seeing this now. There's a Trump result right there. So, but, yeah, uh, let, well, let's talk about the Trump <laughs> thing, because that's something that you announced just this past week, that's right? Correct. That you created a section of the game based on Donald Trump. He is yeah. someone that everyone talks about. But does this mean for you that you're going to be expanding and maybe going towards the states as your next market? Oh, without a doubt. Right now we are in a capital We're in a capital raise right now where we're looking to raise money for our second round. But yeah, because we've proven this out in Canada, because it's become so addictive, because the people are playing, because the brands are coming on board and want to be part of this, we're seeing that this works in a Canadian environment. And right now, what happens uh, is obvious. We want to go into the States, but around the world, because the platform exists. All you have to do is change the questions to localize it, change the language, and this works in every country in the world. Why do you think Montreal has become this sort of startup hub, right? And and, and this game came out a bit out of C2, right? The, 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 well, the annual conference that happens. Well, yeah, Paris was part of that uh, accelerator that Inovia uh, Capital put together. But yeah, this has become a great market for startups because there are a lot of universities. It's the second biggest university city in North America. So there's a bunch of young talent here. There's talent coming from around the world. And we are very unique in as much as this is a multicultural, multilingual um, talent base mm -hmm. that can create products that can really go around the world. So we're seeing that type of infrastructure and we are part of it. If you saw our staff, it's a small team, but this is a very, very multicultural, multilingual staff. How do you think Montreal is doing in be, in being a city and, and doing as much as possible to make sure that Montreal stays and becomes an even bigger city for startups? Well, I think that um, right now, given the fact that people are turning inwards towards Montreal, there are some great entrepreneurs here, people like Alexandre Taifer, people like Francois Charles Sirois, yeah. people like Chris, uh, Chris Arsenault of Inovia Cap. Um, they're sh showing that companies here can go out and become great. And I think the city, uh, and the city and the province, actually in the country as well, because there's a lot happening with the startup out of uh, Ottawa, uh, they're really pushing this and saying, 
build businesses here and expand it. Look, I'm looking back at just for laughs. I'm looking back at Airborne Mobile. It was another company I had. I'm looking back at Cirque du Soleil, uh, Celine Dion. We can go on and on. Moment Factory, companies that are built here, but the market is the world. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing with Play the Future. This is a locally based company idea right now, but we have worldwide ambitions. Andy Norman, the game is called Play, play you call it a game? You it, call it an app? What do you call we it? Call it? We call it a game. It's yeah. Play the Future. It's free. It's Google should, and Apple, right? It's on Google Play, on the iStore, the App Store, and you should really download Play the Future right now, because you can play anything. We can even play breakfast television. Let's do it. Andy, thanks so much. Thank you for having uh, me. You've done so much for the city. We really appreciate it.